Hey, there we are. Where the f is it? The whole city is melted. Oh, shit. What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new top 5 zombies video for you guys and I know it's been a while. It really has been a while but I'm back on the top 5 grind. And today's top 5 we're going to be going over the top 5 reasons why you play BO2 zombies. So here's number 5. Coming to number 5 we actually have Nostalgia Trip. Now yes we all love to live the glory days of Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 and World at War and Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare because these old games just had a lot of heart and soul into them you know yes we may give transit some flag you know it might give die rise a bad rap but at the end of the day we cannot deny they were fun maps and they are still fun maps you know you go to bo2 and you play origins you play buried you play mob of the dead you just don't see maps made like those maps anymore you know you're not underground you're not in some prison you know like for the time, they were some of, if not, the best and most unique maps to ever be made in Zombies. Coming number four, we have still have a last gen console. Now, <laughs> some of you might still have a last gen console. Either you have a Xbox One, or you have an Xbox 360, or you have a PS3, and you just don't have enough to afford a modern console, you can say. Well, that's completely fine. No shame to you if you have a last gen or old console. But keep in mind, keep in mind, these are still some fun games to play. Like really fun games. You know, it's available to at least play online. You can play with your Xbox Live friends or your PS, your PS, uh, PSN friends. <laughs> you know, and you know, eventually you might end up getting a. You know a modern console maybe at, at least a ps4 or an xbox one but overall these games were the peak of their you know conception in literally xbox 360 and ps3 era because these games were just some of the best games to play you know and if you do have an old or last gen console you have the I guess the the beauty to play old COD games like COD Ghosts or World at War or BO1 without having to download a single thing. That is the beauty of last gen that you put in the, you put it in the disc and it's ready to go compared to modern consoles at least. Coming to number three, we have great DLC maps. Now Black Ops 2 has some really good DLC maps. I know I mentioned Die Rise. Die Rise is okay. It is okay. But you can't deny it's good. And then you have Nuketown. Nuketown Zombies, which for its time was a very hard, you can say, very hard um, training map. <laughs> and then, of course, you have maps like Origins, which at its time origins was ahead of its time practically and then you had mob of the dead you know mob of the dead was one of if not the best maps ever created and implemented in black ops 2 and then you have buried which is like the most fun casual zombies map in black ops 2 black ops 2 has some of the greatest dlc maps ever i'd probably say bo3 is better but bo2 for what it had to offer was really good not only that but you had some great dlc weapons like the scar the scorpion you had the Reagan mark ii you had the paralyzer you know you had the death machine in the box you had the blunder gat you know you had the ak-47 like some like really really great great guns to come out of bo2 you had the pdw the svu the an94 i mean a lot of great maps with all these great DLCs, like really great. Coming to number two, we have Simple Game. Now, what I mean by Simple Game is that pretty much you can just hop on and have fun. You know, you don't need to do some tedious Easter egg. You don't need to go find 500 parts, looking at you, Transit, to build the Pack-a-Punch machine. You can just go in, 
and have a great time, you know? Let's say you like playing Mob of the Dead. You go in, you build the plane, you get your blunder guy, you get your ray gun, you pack a punch and that's it. You're pretty much set, you know? Or you go to Origins, you turn on all the generators and you get your ice staff. And that's it, you know, you're set, you know? Or, or let's say you go to Buried and you have the, the teddy bear on the box and you immediately get the paralyzer and the time bomb and the Rega Mark II, you're set, you know? Like, that's just the beauty of BO2, is that it added so much, but yet it was so simple to understand, you know? Like, you didn't have to go out of your way to find 330 parts to build a simple Pack-A-Punch machine, or go find some secret cipher code to unlock some type of special Easter egg song or something like that, you know? Like, it was just simple. And because it was simple, it was easy, easy to understand. And that's what made BO2 fun, is that it knew what it was. It was zombies with a minor extra steps. But it even went out of its way to give you the best it had to offer, you know? Like I say, you know, the extra DLC maps, how they had the DLC guns, or the new wonder weapons. You know, it was just all around just an amazing, simplistic game game number one we have for the fun of it now for the what i mean by for the fun of it is you just play to have fun you play to have a good game you know you hop onto town you hop onto farm you hop onto mob of the dead die rise origins buried and you're just going in you're like i don't want to do an easter egg i don't want to do a world record i just want to hop in get some good guns, get my perks, pack a punch, and just have a blast. And the beauty of that is also split screen. Let's say you want to play with one of your friends and you have an extra controller, you can play split screen. It's just a fun game, man. BO2, BO1, BO3, they're, they're all fun games. But in particular, BO2. That's where most of the memories were made most if not all of the memories were made on BO2 Zombies. By far one of if not the most fun game you could ever play with your friends, with your family, or with your online girlfriend that you met playing transit or something. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe, please leave your comments down below. Turn on all notifications to be notified of any future videos. I want to say before I sign off, the reason why I haven't really uploaded a lot is because I've just been dealing with some personal things, had to take some time, and just really wanted to think about things, you know? But don't worry, I'm back in the grind. And also check out my Twitch. I'll also be live streaming too. But other than that, that's it.